Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have here? It looks like a video game console. It looks like a video game console that plays music, movies, games, you name it. An all-in-one device. Let's see what else. See, let's get a good hands-on feel for this thing. So here you have an AV out cable. Right? Stereo sound here and video. What else is in here? You have a power supply. It does not have the uh, North American plug. Hopefully, there is a North American plug inside here, like an, an adapter that I can plug on top of this. But that's a plug. Hey, you can even get a set of earphone headphones. So you know the FM radio that we were talking about with this wired set of headphones. Um, this would serve as the antenna. And you can listen to your music on these earbuds. Ah, huh, nice of them to actually include a set of earbuds. And here we have a USB cable, charging cable, I guess. Yeah, USB charging cable. There's some software, a user manual, and that's just packaging, put that in there, and here is the device itself. So this is the game player, it looks really nice actually. Buttons feel good. There's even an analog button here. A couple of buttons. Alright, so that's the game player. So it's called the MP5. And yes, it does support a SD card. In this case, a mini SD card, which is perfect for you to store all of your media, your music, your game ROMs, and etc etc and there's also a mic to record sound and speech and FM radio all right so what else is there so it just gives you some screenshots of the picture of the screen and I guess how to navigate how to get into the apps and there you go now this game player has a kind of resemblance to a very popular gaming console that came out by Sony um, nearly two decades ago PSP otherwise known as the PlayStation Portable now look at the two devices they are there's a lot of similarities like we have four action buttons here you have four action buttons there you have your d-pad on this side and you also have a d-pad on that side analog nubs in the same location now on the PSP now we did have we along the bottom though we have our start and select keys and volume key and you have a PlayStation key there, screen key and a music key player key. You don't have any keys along the bottom here. However, you do have a set of four keys on here uh, with the two top ones are volume down and volume up respectively, and it's start and select right. So along the top on this device. We have a USB um, port there for charging and for data transfer, and that little hole there is your microphone. And of course, you do um, as well have lovely shoulder buttons, one per side, right? So it's not a dual dual shoulder button; it's just a single shoulder button, just like on the original PlayStation Portable. We have one shoulder button. And actually looking at this a bit closely here on the original PSP you do also have a USB port and there's uh, two little holes on the side here. So I'm guessing, and if I'm correct, on this on this device, one of these is a USB uh, is a 
audio jack. Uh, I'll confirm that in a second when I turn it on. Uh, on the original PSP, you do have here um, access to the. Uh, this is your wireless LAN button, so you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi capability on the original PSP, right? Um, you don't have that capability here. Uh, the top just has that USB port and a 3.5 millimeter jack. And on the bottom here, on the game player, we have our slot here for our micro SD card. Hallelujah! And um, we have a little hook here in the corner, a little hole. You can actually put a little carry and strap on that, and you can you know wrist strap, and you can carry it around and not drop it. And uh, as I said. The action buttons actually feel very nice and springy and they feel mashable you can really hit these hard and not worry about damaging damaging them um, and here are these action the uh, d-pad uh, feels the same way what I like about this d-pad you know in some systems the d-pad is one big integrated device these are actually individual buttons right um, in some games that might be good, other games like fighting games you may want an all-in-one D-pad, but funny enough, what I like about that is that on the original PSP, um, actually no, the original PSP it does have the all-in-one button, if you know what I mean. So if I press this button, you can see everything else is moving as well because it it's one unit, um, which makes it easier to play uh, fighting games and, uh, and whatnot, but on the game player, these buttons are individual. I actually kind of like the individual buttons, to be honest. Um, just a personal preference. And then the screen itself is a lovely large screen. Uh, I think it's roughly the same size as the PSP screen. Uh, looking at them side by side here. Now, if I look at the backs of both of these, you can obviously tell which one is the original PSP. <laughs> That's this one with the big PSP written on the back. And this is our RUMD tr um, holster here. So if I just pull this out, actually, I think it's uh, how do I how do I get access to this? Oh, right here. Here is where you would actually. No, oh, I still have a UMD game in here. Uh, Chili con carnage. This is a very good game, actually, one of my collectibles. But on the original PSP, that was the holster for the. Uh, for your UMD media. It's a pity that UMD didn't really take off. I think UMD media usually uh, I believe the capacity is 1.8 gigabytes and most modern games, most like high-end modern games today, especially in that, and a lot of Android games, they're a lot larger than 1.8 gigabytes. So the UMD was a great idea, but hey, you know, a proprietary media had a had a short lifespan. Anyway, I digress. So looking over here, um, we have the similar uh, um, circle that you can find on the quote-unquote PSP uh, device um, and what I've done on here you can actually see the markings so if you hit, look here it says mic so that's the microphone there and then here it shows you the headphone jacks so this hole here is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then USB is here, that's that. And then this port is the TV out port. So that's what this other one is for. This other jack right here for TV out. And then right over here we have a, it looks like a 10 megapixel uh, camera right here, uh, which is uh, pretty impressive for a very, very low cost gaming system. And yes, this is a low cost gaming system. Uh, if you want to find out more about this game system, there will be a link below this video click on that link and you can actually buy these as well um, as well as get more information on this lovely device now it has a sticker here it says four gigabytes and it says FM so I'm assuming that means it comes with four gigabytes of pre-installed memory and it supports an FM radio now it doesn't have this doesn't open so it, of course there's no it doesn't play UMDs it plays you know digital media um, and then right here I see uh, some holes here that's an external speaker right here um, I don't see one on this side but that's pretty good alright so that's enough of the comparison between the two of these devices what I'm going to do now is I'm assuming that this thing is comes comes with a pre-charged battery 
Uh, so I should be able to turn it on and see what's on there. So that was the uh, boot up sequence. That's of the you see all the screenshots from a lot of the popular games. So it comes with a uh, King of Fighters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dragon Ball. I'm assuming that's Dragon Ball Z. Of course, there's Street Fighter on here already. So all these games are preloaded, huh? So there's Brash, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Metal Slug, one of my favorites, World Soccer, Find Lamb, okay, Backyard. I'm guessing base basketball, lightning plan, final fight. That's another cool game. Sparrow, game center, music hall. Of course, you have cinema, which is pretty much a fancy term for video player. We have our camera, FM radio. We have tools, a browser, and in our settings tab. All right, so let's look at some of these pre-installed games here.
So that was a preview of uh, the pre-installed games. Now, a couple of observations. I noticed that all of these games are actually the um, Game Boy Advanced uh, ports. So they're all the Game Boy Advance uh, games that have been ported over onto this platform. Now let's have a quick look at the radio. So if I, what I will need to do, however, before I connect the radio, well, before I turn on the radio, you need to obviously connect a set of headphones or earbuds and the reason you need to do that is because the actual cable itself also serves as an antenna so I'm going to plug these in I've turned on the light so you can see the screen a bit clearer so that's the right here that's the radio app so if you, if you look right there um, you can see the volume on this side of the screen and then the station that you're tuned to is right here so what you do to tune your to tune stations you just smooth the uh, d-pad across and as you can see it goes up from FM 95.5 all the way up so it's a full you know your standard FM um, frequency range from 88 all the way up to 100 well 87.5 all the way up to 108 um, megahertz now obviously you can't hear anything because the music or the sound is coming through these earbuds but take my word for it it does work so this is the radio app so yeah also have a camera app on this thing so let me just turn the camera app on so you can capture you can do video recording and there's also PC camera mode so let's try this capture so I have a toy truck as you can see there in the background I'm gonna go capture here okay so I'm guessing that that is the camera app and that's the truck press this button okay so picture has been taken alright so that's that let's see if I get out of there now let's go to video recorder okay so I have the truck there let's press the button okay so video is recording so if I was to move my hand in front here and say move the truck you can see the truck moving there alright there's a little bit of lag but it does capture decent video so let me just stop that recording now okay so that's done saving file there you go so as you can see that was an example of taking a, ca uh, a picture and recording video here's your music directory so there's some music in here uh, that I pre-installed here's where you can access your pictures so the camera is the, the, the two pictures that I just took are here so that's one picture that looks pretty nice actually not bad quality go back out let's open look at the other picture so those are my two truck pictures there and um, again I'm surprised at the quality of the pictures quality of the screen for a device of this price uh, that's you know I'm surprised it's really really good and in here we have a couple of pre-installed pictures so here's some nice green vegetation and uh, I press down yes and oh nice yellow lemons and I have uh, oh that looks nice as well and Oh, yellow sunflowers I'm guessing pretty cool but these pictures of course are just to demonstrate the the, the quality of the color how deep the colors are how rich they are um, so the video is pretty good quality actually I must say I'm impressed and the sound is nice and crisp and clear and loud let's see what the next video looks like so let's go here now they did give us a pre-installed video here BT Boy, I'm guessing that is a video, um, a movie uh, preview, I'm guessing. You're never playing on my team again. Give it up! Yankee Irving may not be the biggest kid on the block. Yes, nobody wants you in the game either. You think you could take your thumb out of my eye? So as you can see, the video on this is pretty good. Uh, pretty good sound quality. It's so loud I have to turn on the volume a bit. So 
So the sound is very nice and as you can see the graphics are in this video um, movie preview uh, pretty good so you can watch movies on this very comfortably indeed. So that's uh, just to demonstrate the capability of the video playback and I'm, I'm impressed I am impressed. Okay now let's get out of here sorry oh, just wait so there's other directories in here as well there's a record directory so of course I'm guessing in here is where you can record your voice um, and this is where because there is a recorder app so this is where all the recorded um, voice files go so that was a review of this great little game system called the game player mp5 it's a complete game system it comes with pre-installed games uh, from the Game Boy Advance and from the NES library and of course it is um, it works on other uh, with other uh, a ton of other games as well um, and uh, in addition to being a really good game system it's also you know a video player media player plays mp3s um, you have basic applications in there like voice recorders um, and um, yeah it's like a little personal data assistant um, and for the price I mean it, you know you have the look and feel of a PlayStation Portable uh, and you can play all of your you know 16-bit games and 64-bit um, games I believe as well um, but I just you know for the purposes of this video I just showed you what was pre-installed on there um, but it looks pretty good I mean even the icons themselves that have that you know PS Vita look with the circular icons and you have the as I said the PSP form factor where you have your analog stick and your d-pad and all that and action buttons and again I think one of the, the biggest selling features on this thing is just the price it's not expensive um, this you know if you <laughs> and if you don't believe me just click on the link below this video um, and check where you can get these on on the online store uh, and the price will surprise you and this is makes an excellent gift for for kids children uh, even adult game gamers like you know like myself who love to collect these things and um, excellent for, you know it's an excellent device to play play uh, your favorite games on the on the go on the train oh one other thing I loved about this is that it has a built-in camera and the camera quality is not bad as well it takes decent video and decent quality pictures as well and it also can be a, a PC camera as well um, just letting you know so other than that guys don't forget to like this video if you liked it feel free to leave some comments below if you have any questions um, even like any suggestions for any other video reviews that you want to see Okay guys, other than that, bye bye. Hi everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, two quick things that I need you to do right now. One is hit the subscribe button below this video. And I strongly urge that you do subscribe to this channel because what we've started doing now, end of month giveaways. Now to be eligible to win uh, a prize at the end of the month, what you have to be, you have to be subscribed to this channel. So subscribe, press that subscribe button below. That's step number one. So it's a two-step process to be eligible to win. One, subscribe. That's very, very important. Two, go on to our website at www.redtechbot.com. And on that website, on the top right-hand corner, there is a newsletter uh, that you must subscribe to. Enter your email address in that. And that's it. You are eligible. You will be eligible to win our, our end-of-month uh, prize draws. Now, I'll just repeat myself one more time. Number one. Hit the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to the channel. That's one of the requirements. And two, you have to go onto our website at www.redtechbot.com and subscribe to our newsletter. In that newsletter, you'll get all the details about what's being given away at the end of the month, uh, who the winners are, and other important news as well. And in terms of getting more information on how the drawer is going to work and you know how we're going to pick the, uh, the individual, how we're going to communicate and everything, uh, all the details will be on our website as well at www.redtechbot.com. So until next time, happy gaming and have a good one, guys. Okay, so see you later, guys.